Hello guys, uh, today I have uh, one of the rare HMI version of, uh, of, uh, of, of Delta. So I'm sure if you started programming recently, you have not come across these type of screens. As you can see, the one which is like this, like with these word keys on this other side here. So uh, I just received this one from a friend of mine. So I just want to show you because uh, see it looks like this. Uh huh. Just with these keys here, and then um, this is just a demo program that is in there. Uh, then if you take a look here, this is the the programming port. Um, you put a com port, another com port. So this com port is the one that I'm using for communication with our S32 with my PLC, and then you've got a battery. Uh, I think with this one, my battery, I think is flat now. You're going to see what I'm saying. When I'm saying my battery is uh, is flat now. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the software and um, how you find yourself around the software to program this. The software is a bit difficult to come across. It's a bit difficult. It's not available everywhere. So uh it's not called dobsoft it's not called dobsoft so i'm just gonna say um okay right i think uh it's open now this is the software this is the software mm. okay S screen editor version 1.05 so this is the dopa series this is the A series. I think a lot of guys who started programming recently they started with the B series. With the B series. And then with the B series, you've got a button here. A pin at the back that you pin. And then it goes into systems. So this one, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see nicely. You long press here. You know, this camera. Mm, let me try to adjust the, the light here. Maybe you can see something. Uh, okay. Look at this. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. you can see uh, there's time, there's calibre, there's just like us, almost all the basic settings that you get on um, a, a DOP A, DOP B series and uh, the DOP 100. Okay, so when you press run, it goes to the main screen. It's actually gives me a warning that I replace a new battery, so my battery is low. So I'm going to do that. This is the battery. Uh, this is the battery. The battery is here. The battery is here. I'm sure you can see it is here. So I just need to change this one. Alright. Uh, okay. Let's jump to our software. There's a small program that I've just written. But ah, never mind. It's, uh, it's just for some of my tests that I'll be doing. So a friend of mine said, yes, this uh, HMI, then I said, let me just do a tutorial to help some of the guys. Because if you come across this, you will never know the software that you use on this thing here. So this is the program that I've designed for the testing. It's actually to run a, a stepper motor. I've got a stepper motor here. Okay, I'm going to run this stepper motor. Uh, so I'm doing my test there. Okay, um, so what you do... Compile. Compile even the environment. I'm sure um, the environment is still as this. this is the first one. This is the early, early. You see, you select your USB and stuff. So my USB, I'm sure my USB is connected now. So tools, download to screen. I think you should see it going. There it's going. It's receiving data. There it goes. It's done. This is my warning for the battery, and then uh, the program is reading. There is the program. Okay, so I'm hook. I hook this HMI to a to a PLC. So let me remove the port, the programming port here for the HMI, and then I put a, a my RS four eight five for communicating with the Delta PLC online. Uh, Okay, uh, come on, come on. Okay, I'm online now. Uh, so, where is ISP? 
create ESP soft. Okay, so I'm sure if I come here and do this, I must go online. Okay, so right, so if you can see, this is the system online. So if you refer this this HMI like uh, what I've programmed here, is the same thing as uh, what's here. So uh, my system online, my reset and everything, you're gonna see it going on and off and off. So I always like to program with a uh, one color, make it a bit dull and um, a bit like um, what can I say? Um, it's not too much bright. It's a bit dim. See. It's uh, like uh, reducing a uh, cognitive load like uh, it's it's not too colorful okay mm. so uh, okay so if I press system online you can see system online it's on it's off it's on it's off uh, what else uh, activate patching Activate patching. I think this one is a bit at the bottom here. Uh, where is the patching? Okay. Activate patch. That goes. That goes. That goes. That goes. That goes. Then if I move to my frequency, my stepper function. Uh, okay. This is my scaling. For 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 putting in a uh, length. Uh, for putting in length, so uh, let me ignore this one. It's not yet active. Okay, frequency. You can select 500. Uh, enter. You see, change to 500. Um, so this is the DOPA. Um, the version is um, DOP dash A E eight T H T D. So. I'm not gonna do much on this. I think uh, this is all. I want to just. I just wanted you to see the software and to see that these HMIs they are still in the field there. Well, oh, this is actually a brand new. It's actually a brand new. I just got it here so that I can do a test and then I will send it back. Okay. Uh, thanks, you John, for the screen. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, you guys don't forget to to click the subscribe button if you're learning something new if you're benefiting just appreciate me by subscribing thanks in advance okay so this is our software uh, I already shown you it's not called Dopsoft it's not Dopsoft version 2 version 4 it's a it's a screen editor version 1 point it's a difficult to come across because I checked this one on Delta website it's not there it's not there so i mean this thing is discontinued uh if i may say okay um don't forget to click the subscribe button thanks once again